Hey everybody, Keith K here and welcome back to another day in the South Pacific of Stranded Deep. Before we get started for my subscribers, I just want to say I know I've been uh, away for a little bit. I've been working on another type of video, a Lego build uh, that is taking me a lot longer than I planned for. And also, this happened. We got a puppy and he's been uh, keeping us up late <laughs> and uh, eating into the time that I usually record. So. Uh, apologies for that. I'm going to try to get back on a regular schedule now. Um, and today we're going to take a look at um, sunburn, sunstroke, managing your SPF levels, um, all caused by exposure to this hot South Pacific sun. So um, you'll start your days out with a full bar of SPF, and that's, that's really the measure here on the watch of your sun exposure. Uh, this will tick down throughout the day, especially as the day goes on. Um, and then you'll proceed into, um, you know, getting some sunburn. And if you don't manage it, you will get sunstroke. And sunstroke basically is a debuff, uh, which will cause you to lose water pretty fast. Um, at this stage of my game, I've got lots of water supplies, but this could be a problem, especially early game. Uh, so I wanted to show you a few ways you could manage that. Now it's still pretty early here in the day, um, so we're probably not going to suffer too much sunburn. Um, but the main ways to deal with sunburn really are to get in the shade, right? So move to the other side of your island, especially if you've got one of these big block formations. You can just go to the other side of the sun, do some work in the shade for a little bit, uh, or you could just cool out you know, take a break in the shade. Um, you can go into a structure, of course, that'll have lots of shade. You can uh, actually swim underwater. That will improve your, uh, you know, that'll raise your SPF. Um, you can actually eat the aloe plant, um, which we'll take a look at once we've lost some SPF here. You can eat the aloe plant and it will um, actually heal some of that sun exposure and Lastly, we can actually craft a, if you go under consumables here in your crafting menu, you can craft um, some aloe uh, solve that uh, will actually help manage the, or reduce the effects of the sun. So this is good to have if you're going out, say, exploring, and you're gonna be out on the water for a while, and you can't really control your exposure to the sun. Um, you know, it's always a good idea. I think you'll see every, straight a deep player when they build a raft, whether it's a larger raft like I've got over there or just your early stage beginner raft, um, you know, put, put the cover uh, over where you're gonna be sitting with the rudder uh, to give yourself some shade. So with that uh, introduction, um, we're gonna go hang out in the sun uh, until our SPF levels drop and then I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll be right back. All right, so it's still pretty early in the morning. And one of the things I've noticed is that uh, you don't lose quite as much uh, SPF right away. Uh, but as the day goes on, that seems to speed up. And you can see now it's 1030. The sun's a little higher in the sky. And you can see that my SPF is starting to drop. I'm going to let this get all the way down to maybe three or four. Um, empty ones, uh, assuming that we don't get a rainstorm that will actually uh, give us plenty of shade. So um, we're just going to let this continue to drop and I'll be back um, when there's a little more uh, off the SPF meter. Something else I want to point out is on the watch in the upper right hand corner, you can see uh, the UV meter is high uh, and you can see my skin is starting to turn red. We don't have any status effects yet, but um, you know, the SPF is starting to blink. My skin's starting to turn red. And if we were to walk into some shade, we'll just go over here as an example. There you go, UV meter went to none in the shade. And 
you'll start to recover some of your SPF, as you can see here. Uh, that's kind of blinking a lot. There we go. So I'm still getting the SPF blinking as a warning, uh, but it's starting to recover because I'm in the shade. But let's get back out into the sun so you can see what happens. Um, going in the water is also, as I said earlier, another way. I think you have to be underwater, though. Let's just take a look together. There. See, our SPF is none. So we're not taking any more SPF loss. It's recovering a little slower. We don't want that, though. So that's an option for you if you're out uh, in the water. You could, uh, you know, explore a boat or dive. Something along those lines. Sun shifting to the side of the island, so we'll move down here. My arm's nice and red. It's nice and toasty at this point. We should get a warning pretty soon that we need to cool down. All right, and there's the warning that we need to cool down. We're out of SPF. Our skin is turning bright red and we have the sunstroke effect in place. So we're gonna lose water a lot quicker. Now, what do we do about it? So the, obviously we can get back in the shade like I showed you earlier, uh, but we actually can eat the aloe plant directly. So let's go ahead and eat the aloe plant. And it restored all of our SPF. So one, one plant can actually go quite a ways. Uh, even if you're not farming it, and you're just finding them on the, um, the islands and picking them, where they grow uh, in the wild, <clears throat> they can go quite a long ways. And bringing, you know, bringing four of them, you know, they'll stack to four. You could bring four with you, and that'll pretty much cover you while you're out and about. Um, but the alternative is, you can uh, craft this the uh, the aloe solve itself. And let's take a look at how to do that. So you need uh, two aloe, and you need you need two of the coconut, uh, sorry, one of the coconut flasks. So that requires one coconut and one lashing, which we have um, in excess here. So we'll just grab this. And uh, as I've said on some of the, my other videos, this has uh, one serving of water in it. So you might as well drink that and make use of it. And then we'll go grab I've been farming the aloe for a while, so I have plenty of them here. Um, and now we can craft this, and um, this will work as a sunscreen. So in, it will cure you also, um, but it will prevent or slow uh, the loss of your SPF. So you can bring some of these with you instead, if you prefer, uh, when you're traveling around. Let's see if I can get that to go down. It's already 4.15. I don't think I'm going to be able to lose all my SPF between now and when the sun goes down. But essentially, if you drink this, uh, it will keep your SPF from, from dropping. So that's going to do it. Uh, for this tutorial, you know, I would stock up on these or, or just stock up on the aloe, like I said. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you did, please give it a like and let me know uh, that I should make more of these. And if you want to get updates of future videos when they drop, uh, please do consider subscribing. I certainly appreciate it. And thank you very much for uh, stopping by and watching the video. See you back here next time.